Welcome. It's Meditation Monday when we invite you to be still, take a moment, and dwell on the Word of God. As we prepare to ponder on what the Lord has to say, remove any distractions, position yourself in a posture to receive, and open your heart and mind to the Holy Spirit. This week's scripture is found in Ephesians, the second chapter, verses 14 through 16, the New International Version. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. By setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. Father, we come before you and we thank you for the word of God. We thank you, God, that you are our peace and that, Father, you have broken down the barriers that will separate us, that would stop us from being one in you. Father, we pray that we would be people who would walk in love, who would understand the call that you have on our lives and who would willingly appreciate the work that you accomplished by tearing down the barriers that exist. Help us, God, to love our family, to love our church family, to love our neighbors, to be a part of loving and caring for our communities, our states, and ultimately the world, God. We are so grateful that because of the blood of Christ, we have been made one and there is no hostility in you. We thank you for that, Lord. Amen. Now I'm going to share the week's scripture again. I want you to listen for a phrase or a word that stands out to you. Ephesians 2, 14 through 16, New International Version. For he himself is our peace, who has made two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in the flesh the law with its commands and regulation. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility. What word or phrase stood out to you? What is the Lord speaking to your heart and mind? Let's take some time to dwell on what the Lord is saying to you. There is no need to rush this moment. Stay as long as the Holy Spirit leads. Let's take a moment to close in prayer. Dear Lord, we were once sinners, aliens estranged from you. And our Savior, Jesus, tore down that wall and gave us peace. Because of that, we are able to enter boldly into the throne room of grace. You do not have hostility towards us, but you have love. And because of that precious blood that was shed, we have been made one and we can ask for and receive forgiveness. 
God, we pray that you would teach us how to live God first lives every day. That you would teach us how to live in peace that you would help us to dwell in peace with others the way you dwell in peace with us. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you for learning and applying the word of God to our lives. We bless you, Father. We honor you. We're so grateful for your love and for all that you do for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we part, remember to treasure the word in your heart and allow him to renew your mind.